Test 9. Listening test. In the listening test, you will be asked to demonstrate how well you understand spoken English. The entire listening test will last approximately 45 minutes. There are four parts, and directions are given for each part. You must mark your answers on the separate answer sheet. Do not write your answers in your test book. Part 1 Directions. For each question in this part, you will hear four statements about a picture in your test book. When you hear the statements, you must select the one statement that best describes what you see in the picture. Then, find the number of the question on your answer sheet and mark your answer. The statements will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Look at the example item below. Now, listen to the four statements. A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. B. A woman is jogging in the alleyway. C. A woman is talking on the phone. D. A woman is putting on a jacket. Statement A. A woman is carrying a briefcase. Is the best description of the picture, so you should select answer A and mark it on your answer sheet. Now, part one will begin. Number one. Look at the picture marked number one in your test book. A. They are looking at items on display. B. They are cooking dishes in the kitchen. C. They are sitting around the dining table. D. They are greeting each other. Number two. Look at the picture marked number two in your test book. A. A woman is holding a file. B. A man is examining a tire. C. A woman is standing in front of a car. D. A man is kneeling down on the floor. Go on to the next page. Number three. Look at the picture marked number three in your test book. A. One of the women is taking off a gown. B. One of the women is using some medical equipment. C. One of the women is lying on a bed. D. One of the women is entering the ward. Number four. Look at the picture marked number four in your test book. A. A woman is handing a credit card to a guest. B. The monitor is being turned on. C. The counter has been cleared of objects. D. A woman is typing on a keyboard. Number five. Look at the picture marked number five in your test book. A. Catering tables and chairs have been arranged outdoors. B. Some people are watching a performance. C. People are gathered in front of the box office. D. Some benches beside the trail are unoccupied. Number six. Look at the picture marked number six in your test book. A. Silverware sets are tied with ribbons. B. The dining area is illuminated by light fixtures. C. The cushions have been placed on the chairs. D. A refrigerator is left open in the corner. Go on to the next page. Part 2 Directions You will hear a question or statement and three responses spoken in English. They will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Select the best response to the question or statement and mark the letter A, B, or C on your answer sheet. Now, let us begin with question number seven. Number seven. How many pizzas should we order for the team dinner? A. I ordered them from Johnson Pizzeria. B. Here is a discount coupon. C. How many people are coming?
Number 8. Why didn't you submit your application form? A. I couldn't connect to the Internet. B. I registered for the class. C. By midnight on Monday. Number 9. Can you drop me off at the WCA bank branch this afternoon? A. I carpooled to work today. B. They only accept cash. C. It gets dropped off every day at 2. Number 10. Do you know how to get to Smith Station? A. Take line 1 from this platform. B. The train is running late. C. You can check the price over there. Number 11. When is the most convenient time for you to pick up your order? A. I apologize for the inconvenience. B. I'll pick you up tomorrow morning. C. I will come for it before noon tomorrow. Number 12. Who will lead the workshop on trends in stock investment? A. They are temporarily out of stock. B. Here is the complete schedule. C. We will invest in real estate. Number 13. Do you usually eat out or bring your own lunch? A. I think they have to go menus. B. I always pack something to eat. C. You will have a one hour lunch break. Number 14. What camera do you want to purchase? A. One with a waterproofing function. B. It comes with a one year warranty. C. Mine has a video function. Number 15. When was the last time you went there? A. It isn't far from here. B. I think I have time next Monday. C. Just before they agreed to the merger. Number 16. Who can I ask about the travel expense reimbursement procedure? A. You can find it in the company handbook. B. $350 will be deposited on the next payday. C. The travel itinerary is subject to change. Number 17. I really want to see the new sci fi movie starring Brian Todd. A. Two adults for the 11 o'clock show. B. You should buy tickets in advance. C. Yes, it was adapted for a screenplay. Number 18. Could we increase production to meet the order at the main plant? A. Almost 6,000 units. B. We'd have to hire more workers. C. They are packaged overseas. Number 19. You know how to operate this new cutting machine, don't you? A. I will after watching a demonstration video. B. It operates manually. C. The management cut our budget. Number 20. Can you come in the morning or are you only available in the afternoon? A. I have some time before noon tomorrow. B. Yes, that time works well for me. C. Not according to this copy of the schedule. Number 21. Let's talk about the contract with Jefferson Interior in detail over lunch next week. A. You can contact me by email. B. Do you want me to reserve a restaurant? C. A couple of times a week. 
Number 22. Do we have enough complimentary gifts for the promotional event? A. I doubt we'll run out before noon. B. I'll take one, thank you. C. We've got complimentary tickets. Number 23. Paul printed the handouts for the meeting, right? A. The new copier is in the corner. B. Yes, they're in the conference room. C. Here's a list of printing services. Number 24. Would you prefer to use the conference room upstairs? A. The directory hasn't been updated. B. I think this room with the beam projector will do just fine. C. When will the relocation take place? Number 25. How much is left in our budget for renovations? A. Gary's Construction submitted the lowest bid. B. The fundraiser was a big success. C. Not as much as we had hoped. Number 26. Have the new manuals been sent out to the customers? A. You can find them at the post office. B. Andrew took care of that yesterday. C. Can I check out here? Number 27. Who's in charge of the lease contract with Baron Inc.? A. It was extended until next March. B. Mark is up for promotion. C. James is working on it in place of Martin. Number 28. I thought you transferred to the branch in Dakota. A. My family does not want to live separated. B. You are required to use public transportation. C. Irene will assist your move. Number 29. You're bringing your family to the company picnic, aren't you? A. No, there was a change in plans. B. The details are posted in HR. C. The picnic is in Conrad Park. Number 30. Why did you choose Fast Printing Shop instead of Bent Advertising? A. Please print it in color. B. Because it accepts rush orders. C. I prefer this one instead. Number 31. I'm sorry to tell you that there are no seats available. A. He is not available now. B. Can you add my name to the waiting list? C. A window seat, please. Part 3. Directions. You will hear some conversations between two or more people. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speakers say in each conversation. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The conversations will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 32 through 34 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm looking to get a new cell phone. Okay. Is there anything in particular that you have in mind? I would like to find something with a longer battery life. I have to use my phone a lot for work, and I find myself looking for places to charge it all the time. I understand what you mean. Why don't you try this model here? Not only does it have a long battery life, it also comes with a spare battery and charger. Number 32. What most likely is the woman's job? Number 33. What does the man say is wrong with his current phone? Number 34. What feature does the woman mention about the new phone?
Questions 35 through 37 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm a curator at the Francois Museum in Lyon, France. We plan on shipping 20 paintings to New York, USA for a special exhibit, and I heard that your company specializes in that sort of thing. Yes, we ship fine art internationally more than any other moving company. When do you plan on sending them? We want to send them as soon as possible. Could you get them there by the 30th of this month? They'll need a day or two to set up the exhibit that opens on the 1st. That shouldn't be a problem. We can send someone later today to measure everything you plan to send, and then we can give you a price quote. Number 35. Why is the woman calling the man? Number 36. According to the man, what does his company specialize in? Number 37. What does the man say he will send someone for? Questions 38 through 40 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. How is the clientele list digitization coming along? Pretty well so far. Carol actually came up with a great idea to speed things up. Really? What is it? Well, I thought it might be easier to just scan the paper records. Then we don't have to manually input every name, address, and phone number. This digital recognition software can do it for us. That sounds brilliant. How long do you think it will take now? At this rate, we can probably be all done by next week. That's good to hear. I thought we would need to hire some temporary workers to finish the project by the deadline at the end of the month. I will send an email telling the personnel department that they don't need to post job openings. Number 38. What project have the women been working on? Number 39. What did Carol suggest doing to expedite the task? Number 40. What will the man most likely do? Questions 41 through 43 refer to the following conversation with three speakers. Have either of you been to the new Italian restaurant across the street? I was thinking of taking a client there for lunch next week. Yes, they're really good. I tried the chicken parmesan and it was delicious. The only problem is the weight. Yeah, haven't you noticed the line outside during peak meal times? I had to wait for half an hour when I went there for dinner a few days ago. Maybe I can call in advance and make a reservation. That won't do you any good. They don't take reservations. She's right. If you want to eat at a peak time, you just have to wait. I think I'll just invite the client to a late lunch. We can talk business first and then eat. Number 41. What are the speakers mainly talking about? Number 42. What problem do the women mention? Number 43. What will the man most likely do? Go on to the next page. Questions 44 through 46 refer to the following conversation. You know, I haven't had time to look at the comments from the online survey until this Monday. I've been going through them since then. Have you had a chance to look at them? Not yet. I had to handle the orders placed during the weekend. What are people saying? For the most part, they're satisfied, but they don't like our base shipping fees. Well, what if we waive shipping fees if they come into the store to pick up their orders? I guess we could do that. I know some other stores do it. Besides, if they come into the store to pick up their orders, they might also do some shopping while they're here. Number 44. What has the man been doing? Number 45. What does the woman mean when she says, 
I had to handle the orders placed during the weekend. Number 46. What does the woman suggest doing? Questions 47 through 49 refer to the following conversation. Denise, when are the brochures for our new exhibit going to arrive? Oh, they sent a sample this morning. The thing is, it had our museum's old logo on it. I emailed the new logo to them, and they said they could have them printed by Monday. By Monday? The exhibit is supposed to open on Saturday. Then we would have no brochures for the opening weekend. Could you call them back for me? Tell them to send all that they can print today. We might run low, but we can ask visitors to only take one each and share. Okay, I'll call them right away. Number 47. What are the speakers talking about? Number 48. What problem does the woman mention? Number 49. What will the man ask visitors to do? Questions 50 through 52 refer to the following conversation. Hello, I'm Donovan, and you are listening to Voice of Utah. Today's guest is Virginia Bonnet, the acclaimed environmentalist and president of Living with Nature. I heard you do great work for conserving the environment. These days, what are you most concerned about? Well, plastics have ruined our oceans and marine creatures living in them. I know plastic itself is very useful, but it will be a totally different issue when it reaches the ocean. Plastic is a threat to sea animals, they can get tangled in plastic nets or swallow round-shaped plastics that look like eggs. I heard you plan to make a documentary. Can you tell me more about it? Thanks for bringing it up. I would like people to see and know exactly how plastic products they use in daily life have an effect on marine life. Number 50. Who most likely is the man? Number 51. According to the man, what does the woman plan to do? Number 52. What does the woman mean when she says, Thanks for bringing it up. Questions 53 through 55 refer to the following conversation. Hey, Pam, I think there's something wrong with my computer. I can't seem to get online. Did you get the memo from the IT department? They upgraded our network server and system to make the network more secure. If you switch to the Staff 01 network, it should work fine. Hmm, give me a second. I'm trying to do that. But I'm still getting a connection error message. I may just have to go to the IT department myself. You can use my computer to submit a help request to the technical department. Number 53. What problem does the man mention? Number 54. What change does the woman say was made recently? Number 55. What does the woman offer to do for the man? Questions 56 through 58 refer to the following conversation. Welcome back from India, Joyce. How did the factory visit go? It went well. The production manager told me about a new synthetic material that they can use. The clothes might not be quite as comfortable, but it would cut production costs in half. I would like to keep offering high-quality merchandise, but with the current week economy, I think it would be best to have a generic line of clothes and to appeal to younger customers. Yes, you're right. I totally agree with you. Number 56. What did the woman recently do in India?
Number 57. What does the woman say about the synthetic material? Number 58. What does the man want to do? Questions 59 through 61 refer to the following conversation. Hi, I'm calling about your dining halls. Do you have anything available this Friday? I have a big family and we're all getting together for a special dinner. We can currently take a reservation for dining rooms. How many people will be gathering? It should be 26 people altogether. Would it be possible to have a separate table for the children? There are eight of them. That won't be a problem at all. The moonlight room should be perfect. It seats up to 30 people and even has a play area for children. Great. Could you email me a reservation contract to review before booking? Number 59. What is the purpose of the phone call? Number 60. What does the man say about the moonlight room? Number 61. What will the man most likely do next? Questions 62 through 64 refer to the following conversation and schedule. Hi, I'm scheduled to have an interview with Haley Lim at 2 p.m. My name is David Powell. Mr. Powell, I'm sorry, but we have you down for 3 p.m. Oh, really? Maybe I had the wrong time. There was some miscommunication. I remember I sent a revised schedule to candidates by text message. Oh, I didn't check my phone. Can I wait here, or is there another waiting area I could use for an hour? There's a pretty nice coffee shop on the first floor of the building. Number 62. Who most likely is the woman? Number 63. Look at the graphic. Which position is the man applying for? Number 64. What does the woman ask the man to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 65 through 67 refer to the following conversation and map. David, do you have a moment to look over my suggestions for revising the floor plan? Yeah, I can spare a minute. Let's see what you've come up with. Well, I think we should move the home department as close to the parking lot as possible. Kitchen appliances and dishes are heavy to carry out. This way, customers can bring their cars up front. I agree. How about the other departments? I think the women's department is fine where it is, but we should move the children's department to the mall entrance. Children's clothes will probably bring in more passers by. Maybe we'll try that. Thanks for the advice. Number 65. What does the woman ask the man to do? Number 66. Look at the graphic. Which department will be located opposite from women's department? Number 67. What do the speakers imply about the children's department? Questions 68 through 70 refer to the following conversation and table. Steve, you're in charge of planning the company appreciation dinner, right? Have you chosen a venue yet? Not yet. I made a list of some nearby options, though. Do you think we should hold it outside? The weather has been really nice lately. That's true, but the rainy season is about to start and the weather gets really unpredictable. Is that so? Maybe it would be best to hold it indoors. Have you been to any of these places? We have held the event at Ryder Hall, but you should consider that we merged with Deborah Cosmetics. I don't think everyone would fit inside there. Number 68. 
What kind of event is the man in charge of planning? Number 69. What is the woman concerned about? Number 70. Look at the graphic. Which venue will the man most likely choose? Part 4. Directions. You will hear some talks given by a single speaker. You will be asked to answer three questions about what the speaker says in each talk. Select the best response to each question and mark the letter A, B, C, or D on your answer sheet. The talks will not be printed in your test book and will be spoken only one time. Questions 71 through 73 refer to the following announcement. Good morning and welcome aboard Flight 420 to Denver. There will be a slight delay due to snow on the runway. Once the snow is cleared away, we will take off. It will only take a few minutes. Please remain in your seats with your seatbelts fastened until we take off. Once we reach cruising altitude, I will turn off the seatbelt indicator. After that, beverages will be served. Just tell a flight attendant what you want. Thank you for your patience. We hope you enjoy your flight, and we are happy to have you on board. Number 71. Who most likely are the listeners? Number 72. What caused the delay? Number 73. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Questions 74 through 76 refer to the following telephone message. Ms. Cox, I'm returning your call about the services my company offers. We can most certainly create a TV ad like the one you requested. I spoke with our production department and directors and they said that they could begin writing a scenario right away once you decide on your expected budget. If you want a certain actor or actress, please let us know along with your estimated budget. If not, I will schedule auditions and give you a time estimate. Number 74. What is the main purpose of the call? Number 75. What service does the speaker offer? Number 76. What is the listener requested to do? Questions 77 through 79 refer to the following introduction. Welcome to the release of SkyShark Company's newest tablet PC. As you can see, this model is sleeker and has better graphics than any other tablet product on the market. Our head designer, Helena Graves, led the design team and supervised the entire process. She has been selected as the most innovative designer for two years in a row. Now, please welcome our top software developer, Gary Whitworth, to the stage. He will demonstrate some of the many features of this great new device. You will witness how this technology can change your daily life. Give a big round of applause for Mr. Whitworth. Number 77. At what kind of event is the speech taking place? Number 78. What does the speaker say about Ms. Graves? Number 79. What will happen next? Questions 80 through 82 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. I'm sure you've all noticed that the cost of electricity continues to increase. Our hands are not tied, though. By installing solar panels, we can reduce our electricity bills and carbon footprints significantly. I have contacted a solar panel manufacturer 
and they said that they are willing to offer panels to our community at a reduced cost for bulk purchases. That means that the more of us join, the more we can save. I know what we did last time. However, this will be totally different. The city council and Baltimore Glass Company have already agreed to install the solar panels, so the price will be cut in half. If you are interested, please sign this sheet and write down your address and phone number. Number 80. What problem does the speaker mention? Number 81. What does the speaker imply when she says, I know what we did last time? Number 82. What does the speaker ask the listeners to do? Go on to the next page. Questions 83 through 85 refer to the following telephone message. Hi, this is Debbie from Beacon Printing Services calling for Max Hopkins. This call is concerning the order you placed on our website a few minutes ago. I wanted to confirm that you only need 50 copies of the pamphlet you sent us. I think this is too small. You might have missed a zero. It seems odd considering your usual requests. You know we charge you the same price up to 500 copies. We can start printing them now and have them ready for pickup at our front desk, but call me anytime if you need to modify your order. Number 83. How did Mr. Hopkins place his order? Number 84. What does the woman imply when she says, I think this is too small? Number 85. What does the woman offer the listener? Questions 86 through 88 refer to the following announcement. Welcome to the Nashua Education Fair at Washington High School. This is a great opportunity for all students like you who are interested in continuing your education. Colleges from around the state and some from other parts of the country have set up booths throughout the auditorium to hand out information about the majors they offer. Usually, our public relations department takes some photos of this event and posts them on our website. This year, local press, including a newspaper and a TV station, will cover the event for the first time. Not surprisingly, it reflects the increasing public interest in higher education. Number 86. Who is the event most likely intended for? Number 87. What does the Public Relations Department do during the event? Number 88. What does the speaker say is unique to the event this year? Questions 89 through 91 refer to the following excerpt from a meeting. The next thing we need to talk about today is the expansion of our product line. In the past, we offered outdoor gear such as hiking clothes, tents, and so on. As of next month, we will also begin to manufacture and sell outdoor cookware, including portable grills, roasting skewers, and things like that. We hope that this will help increase our profits by increasing set sales. After two quarters, we will review the cost benefit ratio of the new line to decide whether or not we will continue producing them. Number 89. What does the speaker say will begin next month? Number 90. According to the speaker, how does the company intend to increase profits? Number 91. What does the speaker say the company will do in six months?
Questions 92 through 94 refer to the following announcement. This is Billy Morton, owner of Billy's Burger Bar. I'd like to thank all of you for all of your support over the years, but it's time for me to close up shop and retire at the end of this year. As one final farewell and thank you to my loyal customers, anyone who brings in merchandise that was handed out at our previous events will be given special deals. If you bring in one of our collector's mugs, you get a free soft drink. For wearing one of our t-shirts or hats, you get a free side of fries. It's almost December already, so make sure you don't miss out. Number 92. What kind of business does the speaker own? Number 93. How can customers receive something for free? Number 94. What does the speaker mean when he says, It's almost December already. Questions 95 through 97 refer to the following telephone message and list. Hi, Brett. This is Tina Welsh from The Warehouse. I was looking over our shipment and inventory records, and I found a discrepancy. Normally, everything comes through us before going to your retail center. However, one of the shipments was never processed here. We were supposed to get 50 boxes on April 1st, but they don't seem to be anywhere. Could you do me a favor and check to see if they went directly to your stockroom on that day instead of coming here? Please try to call me back by tomorrow. Number 95. What is the purpose of the phone call? Number 96. Look at the graphic. Which items were never processed at the warehouse? Number 97. What does the speaker ask the listener to do? Questions 98 through 100 refer to the following talk and graph. As the manager of this department, I would like to review our spending. This chart here shows the marketing expenses from last year. As you can see, it is broken down by how much we spent on each type of marketing. We need to make sure that we market as efficiently as possible. The great thing about internet marketing is that we can do it so easily and at such low cost. We can even offer coupons for positive posts on SNS. Our next lowest expense, however, seems to be the least efficient these days. I think we can cut that type of marketing from our budget and focus on the other three. For the next meeting, I will ask you all to come up with new ideas to advertise our product. Number 98. What most likely is the speaker's position? Number 99. Look at the graphic. Which expense does the speaker want to cut from the budget? Number 100. What are the listeners requested to do for the next meeting? This is the end of the listening test.